welcome back to my channel and I'm coming back to you guys with another haul video. In my previous thrift haul video, I had shown some clothes I thrifted online and also had shown a few items that I sort of thrifted from my grandma's garage when we cleaned it out. So this video is like a continuation of that and showing you the rest of all the items and clothes that are some cute interesting vintage pieces before we get started just a little bit of a shameless plug go ahead and follow my instagram on the screen right now if you want also subscribe to my channel if you want hit a like on this video and turn on the notification bells to get alerts of when i have new videos if you want if you like this content so let me just get started with the clothes since it is a trash bag full of clothes to first start off this chocolate brown cardigan and it has i don't want to say it's faux fur because it's not faux fur but like kind of like this fuzzy material on the collar and then also on the sleeves and it's a pretty thick long cardigan um it also the silhouette of it and this on the collar and sleeves is pretty in trend now so I was happy to find it and it is by the brand Juju. I think that's probably how you pronounce it. It's J-O-U-J-O-U. -O -U -O -U. And so I'm definitely keeping this though, but you'll see how it looks in the try on. Next are these really Y2K pair of jeans. Um, they are these denim flares and I love them because at the bottom of the flare, they are frayed and also they're frayed along the top. And in the back it has this very cute artwork of embroidery of like some swirls, flowers, palm trees, and a tiger on the back. And I can't really make out what the name of this brand is, but it has a big M on the label and on the inside, but the rest of the inside is pretty frayed because it is very vintage and old. Next is this OG y2k brand like actual y2k not the random modern y2k that's not really y2k but this shirt um this fat farm shirt and this is such a throwback what attracted me to this and made me want to keep it is the blue color i've just been really into like dark blues and purples and dark greens so i really like this and of course it's by fat farm it's pretty oversized and big on the front is pretty cute because it says classic American flavor and I really love that. Um, I can't have enough graphic tees in my wardrobe. Next are these jeans that I'm pretty disappointed in because I noticed afterwards that the zipper is broken on it so I don't know how I'll fix that. I'd say I guess they're a little bit cargo because they have like pockets with ties on the side which is really interesting. Usually I see it have like buttons on the pockets. This is by the brand Imperial Court and they're pretty cute. I'm pretty sure they're like loose boot cut at the end. Next is a pretty random piece that I thought I had given up forever, but it is this Nightmare Before Christmas zip up hoodie and it has a Jack Skeleton graphic on the front. I love all of Tim Burton's movies, even though Tim Burton himself is pretty questionable. Why are so many famous people very, very extremely problematic? But I remember buying this hoodie or not buying this hoodie, wanting this hoodie so bad um, and got it from Hot Topic. And I'm pretty sure I remember the price was like 50 to $60. And I thought it had been um, donated a long time ago, but I guess it wasn't and it was in my grandma's garage. So I decided to keep it. I don't know exactly how I'm going to style this, but it's also just a bit of nostalgia. So I just wanted to keep it. Next, I'm probably gonna be selling or just re-donating. It is this dark gray joggers and they are very vintage joggers. They look like they're from the 90s. It is by Cambridge Classics and it has the cinch waist and like the cinch, um, actually, no, it's not cinched at the bottom. It's loose at the bottom. 
um, which is interesting. And it doesn't have a jawstring, so it's pretty true to size, it's a medium, but it does have a bit of stretch. Um, I have a lot of joggers and sweatpants, so I don't know if I'm going to sell this. Next are an interesting pair of jeans and they are vintage Levi's, but they are the Levi cinch back. And so the back of the jeans are cinched, which is pretty random. Um, they look high-waisted. Also, one side has a pocket and they look like they flare a bit at the end. I don't know how these fit. If these fit weird, I'll be selling them on my Depop. If they don't fit weird, I might keep them. But I just thought they were super interesting because I've never seen cinch back Levi pants before. I didn't really know they had this style, so those are pretty interesting. They're kind of cute. Next are these vintage linen pajama shorts and they are pretty cute and then i realized that they are vintage victoria's secret which is such a steal since i basically got them for free because resellers on depop and ebay charge a little bit more than i'd like for vintage victoria's secret items and they're cute because they cinch at the waist and then they kind of like are very loose and open like a-line type of cut at the bottom and the bottom has like satin cuffing next is a velour well one half of a velour tracksuit and it is in like this nice like pinkish lilac color i think the color is what attracted me because i don't really know what i'll do with like this basic zip up hoodie i'll probably be selling it it is by ny jeans there's a lot of like ny jeans um velour things down there sadly thought this was a set but it's not it's two different parts of a set um but first is this zip up and it's kind of like a tan camel color and it's a actual actual y2k vintage velour zip up um it is also by ny jeans and yeah so i'm definitely going to be selling this one and then i'm going to also be selling it separate from this since it's not a matching set next thing i'm keeping for sure and they are these vintage levi jeans and they are in this beautiful like green color i wouldn't say it's like a forest green jungle grass green i would say um they are vintage levi's the 550 brand and they are very cute um i hope they fit me y2k if i've ever seen it that's not juicy couture color tracksuit and it is this hot pink one and if you'll notice it has a bunch of like beading and embroidery and sequins on it and it has like a peacock and flowers um on the bottom of the pants and also with the zip up it has it on the chest and especially on the back um it's not really my style so i definitely will be selling these on my depop but it's pretty cute and it is by the brand bcbg so keep a lookout for these if you want to buy them another velour zip up and i'm actually going to keep this one i don't remember finding the bottoms to this but it's like this brown mocha color pretty content with just finding the zip up and i think it's such a nice color that i could wear with stuff since it's just a regular zip up hoodie next i found was this guess puffer jacket and i'm in love with it because the collar is faux fur which is such a random touch. You can detach it, I'm pretty sure. When it gets colder, I definitely will be wearing this. Next is a, another puffer jacket, and I will be selling this, I think, because I don't know if I really like the color, but it's like this very deep, deep wine color. And the inside is like a suede velour. It has like gold detailing. It doesn't say the brand on it, but yeah i definitely will be selling this next is this pretty big i'm pretty sure it's a man's leather jacket and it is by the brand monte carlo i'm pretty sure it's real leather 
which is fine by me since it's vintage and I'm reusing it. And the inside has a bit of like faux suede or velvet lining this one is interesting because it is super thick and heavy and oversized so yeah i really like this i'm pretty sure these were my grandma's but these are some mule clogs and they're by tommy hilfiger and they are very vintage 90s i was always kind of eyeing these you know, like not really searching for them, but seeing like if I do see them, I'll get some. So I'm really glad I found these. I'm pretty sure they fit. They might be a tad bit big, but I like sandals to fit a little bigger and not have like my heel hanging off the back. This is this belt that reminds me so much of the early 2000s, mid 2000s, because it has like this jeweling on the front. Um, and so many of these belts I remember seeing them like downtown LA and I think they're pretty cute I think I don't really wear belts but I feel like since this has a cool design to it that I'll be more inclined to wear it next is this very cool faux alligator or crocodile purse and usually I don't like red that much but for some reason as a bag I thought it was pretty cute and I don't have anything like this and it's such a nod to like the gaudy kind of like tacky early 2000s so i think it is super cute and yeah i've just been looking at very interesting bags to like add to outfits lastly is this suede boho super early 2000s it's like a certain shape that it's called of this bag i forgot the name of it but it's just like a boho bag and has like a whole bunch of studding and stuff to it and I just really love the look of it I love the color of it there was also a chocolate brown one in my grandma's garage that I honestly should have kept too but it's long gone it's been donated okay so that is all of the items that I kept from my grandma's garage if you like this video go ahead and like it and hit that subscribe button I would greatly appreciate it and the next video, I'm coming again with another online haul because I do have more clothes that I thrifted online like eBay and Depop and stuff like that. So keep a lookout for that. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time.